Hi everyone, in today's DIY projects we are crafting with Dollar Tree items. We'll be creating some beautiful home decor items on a budget that you could use to decorate your home. And for your shopping convenience, all the items used in today's DIY projects will be linked in the description box below. So do check them out and let's jump right into our first DIY project. For our first project we are using a foam board and a pizza pan. We're going to be making a 20 by 20 square. And I'm using my yardstick to mark the measurements. I'm joining opposite ends to find the center of my square. Then I'll mark my circle. I'll be cutting a 20 inch circle from the square. I'm placing a piece of string on my pen. Then I'll place the string in the center of that square. Then I'll draw a circle. And I'm using my electric scissors to make that cut. I'm making sure that my pan will be in the center. And you don't need to place all this glue. You just need a small amount because you'll need to remove this at the end. We're going to be using spoons from the Dollar Tree. And you'll need six packs for this project. Just break the tips off the spoons. and start to glue your pieces down. And you'll be removing that first row, so place just a tiny um, dab of glue so you'll be able to remove it afterwards. So I'm using five spoons in each row and the last one will be coming over the edge and I'm overlapping the spoons. And you just wanna layer your spoons and make sure that the spoons aren't going over the edge of the pizza pan. Now as you can see the first row is too low so I'm removing that row. And you're just going to continue to add your spoons and layer them. I'm using a popsicle stick to help me with this process. Just make sure that it's nice and neat.
Now we have it all on the same level and I'm placing the glue directly on the spoons so I can push them underneath the previous ones. Just make sure that the spoons are coming over the edge of your foam board. Now we're done assembling our spoons. I'm using alcohol to clean off any glue strings. And I'm using a piece of wire for my picture frame package and this is how we're going to be hanging it on the wall. Just make sure to use your strong adhesive. And I'm placing a piece of tissue on top so I can continue working. I'm just going to be using my Rust-Oleum 2X, my gloss white and I'll spray paint the entire piece. I'll be spray painting this pizza pan and I'm going to be using my Rust-Oleum Gold to do that. And I'm also cutting a piece of my foam board for the center of the pizza pan. And I'm using a 12 inch mirror and the foam board will be elevating the mirror so it can get to the height of the level of the pizza pan. You can also use a piece of cardboard. And make sure to use your strong adhesive to place your pieces together. Now I'm using my glass cleaner to clean my mirror. The last thing is left to do is add my pizza pan. And remember I said that you have to remove the pizza pan. I, I used too much glue so I wasn't able to do so. So I'm using a separate pizza pan. And here's how this wall decoration turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our second project. We are using these balloon sticks from the Dollar Tree. And we have some leftovers from the previous project. I'm just going to be using the um, longer sticks for the taller pieces that we need. I'm cutting my sticks from 5 and 3 quarter inches up to 11 inches. And I'm cutting them a quarter inch apart. And for each size, I'm cutting two pieces of my sticks. And we're making a wall sconce. I'm also using a foam disc and I'm cutting one inch off. I'm just aligning my foam with this mirror. I planned on using the mirror but I did not use it. Instead I ended up using a Dollar Tree charger plate. Now it's time to add up my sticks to my foam disc and I'm just making sure that they're nice and straight in the center. And you want to place the two smallest sizes directly in the center. Then add your taller pieces on either side. Just make sure that the pieces are nice and straight. So each piece should be one eighth of an inch taller than the previous piece. Now I'm done adding all my balloon sticks and it's looking nice. I'm going to be cutting off this piece because as I said, I planned on using that mirror. But you don't need to be cutting this piece off. You actually need this piece to go down inside of that charger plate.
and these are the sizes so the foam that's left is three and a half inches you actually need four inches I'm going to be creating a design I'm leaving a part of my sticks clear and then I'll be spray painting the rest so I'm using my electrical tape just to make a V on both the top and the bottom of my wall sconce just make sure that it's nice and straight And here's my charger plate. I'll be spray painting my charger plate and I'm using my Rust-Oleum Gold Spray Paint. And for this part of the sconce, I'll be using my Rust-Oleum 2X Flat Black. And I also have this ribbon that I'll be spray painting gold. Just make sure to use your alcohol to clean your wall sconce before you spray paint it. To hang my sconce on the wall, I'll be using this wire from my picture frame hook package. Just make sure to use your strong adhesive. And here's my design, it's nice and dry. And I'll just go ahead and remove that tape. And I'll add my ribbon to the center. I'm attaching a small piece to complete the ribbon. Just make sure that you join it correctly. And I'm using my X-Acto knife to connect the edges. Now I'm connecting my design to my charger plate and I'm using my hot glue and my strong adhesive and I'm also going to be reinforcing the design from the inside. Now all that's left to do is to add our push lights and I'm using these rechargeable remote lights. They come with magnets so all you have to do is glue the magnet in then place the lights on the magnet and then when it's time to charge it you remove your lights and charge them. And here's how this one turned out guys. I hope you like this one. Now let's move on to our third project. We are using two dome jars from the Dollar Tree. My plan was to make a table lamp. So I used my soldering iron to remove those little notches from the center. But instead we're going to be making a vase. I'll be spray painting my dome white on the inside. And I'll be using bamboo skewers to add to my design. And I'm cutting my skewers at 10 and a half inches. And I'm just using my garden shears to cut my skewers so they can be nice and neat at the ends. I place my skewers in a piece of foam so they can stand upright while I spray paint them. And I'm using my Rust-Oleum Reflective Gold. After they were dry, I flipped them so I could spray paint the other ends. Now everything is dry. I also spray painted my lids gold. Now it's time to attach my skewers and I'm just using my hot glue to do so. To add my skewers, I place the lids on the dome and make sure that the skewers are standing straight on both sides.
Now that looks about even. Then I'll continue to add my skewers on either side of the first skewer. And I'll be adding five skewers to each side. So as I said, I planned on making a table lamp, but I could not get the spray paint to be even on the inside. So it did not look good when I placed the lights in. So I changed my plan and I'm making a vase instead. Now I'll just glue my pieces together and then add the second dome. Just make sure that they're nice and even. And I'm using my hot glue to connect the pieces. Just make sure to clean up any overspill. I'll use my soldering iron to cut out that piece and I'll be spray painting it gold on the inside. And to add some finishing touches, I'm adding my crystal clear inner mill spray paint to the entire vase. And here's the finished product guys. I hope you like this one. Let me know which of the three projects was your favorite and if you'll be recreating any of them. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave. If you missed last week's video, here is the link on the screen. Just click that rectangular box to watch. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye-bye.